right here with Kai Taku. I am excited to share another Manga Spice Cafe unboxing with you all. Uh, I love Manga Spice Cafe. The snacks have been so much fun. And it is the only box that I found so far where I get three volumes, at least three volumes of manga a month. And I had just have not found any other box that like you're guaranteed to get a volume of manga like other boxes that I've tried you may get a box um, a manga you may get a Funko Pop something of that nature every month but you're not guaranteed to get manga every month like this one so I am so excited to continue with my manga spice cafe subscription so let's see what we've got so of course we open her up and we start off with our little spoiler card which tells us, let's see, ooh, very excited. Some little hints here of what we've got. Okay, let's see what we've actually got. Ooh, yummy, whoops, sorry Haley Jane. <laughs> I lost my chopsticks. So this looks absolutely delicious. So first we have got, which looks to be ah, one of those little cookie cakes. Um, I forget what they're called. And they've got like the cream in the middle. This looks good. It looks like it's strawberry. So I'm allergic. So someone in my uh, family will enjoy that. We've got the chopsticks that fell on Haley Jane. Um, we have got our wafer and it's always got the cutest little characters on it. So exciting. We have got chicken curry flavored instant noodles uh, to go with our chopsticks. Uh, these are some Sakura mochi flavored Kit Kats. So, um, those are going to be delicious. Ooh, I wonder if they're pink. They're probably pink. I'm a fan. Or green. Well, they're mochi. The or mm, gonna go with them being pink. And we have got some matcha pocky. I am not a huge matcha fan, but I do love pocky, so I definitely would be willing to try matcha pocky, like for sure. And we've got our little corn chips. Um, they're these little puffed up little corn chip pieces and look at the little characters. They always have cute little characters on these packagings too. Like I really enjoy the packaging. The packaging is always adorable um, and makes me happy on the inside. And last but not least of our snacks is an apple and jasmine drink. So that sounds very healthy. I'm very excited. Um, and it doesn't, let's see, it's got water, sugar, artificial flavors, apple juice concentrate, citric acid, jasmine extract, sodium citrate, and tea. I may not be allergic to this. That's exciting. I may not be allergic to this. I don't know. It's got citric acid, so I may be allergic, but we're going to see. All right. So now for the my favorite part, my absolute favorite part of this whole thing, which is the manga. So we have got three volumes of manga here and of course our little points make sure we get our points because they've got like one of those cards and you can get um they give you a sticker in every one of the boxes and then when you fill up that card i think you, you get something you get a discount i think i'm gonna have to look that up it's either a discount or like a free box or something of that nature all right so let's see what we got Ooh, this first one looks a little scary so this is Sadako at the end of the world and her little thing says hi. Sadako, she reminds me of the girl from the ring. Uh, it says, in a world torn apart by apocalypse, I'm always here for the apocalypse, two lonely little girls chance upon a strange video. To their surprise and joy, a girl with long black hair named Sadako, Sadako, climbs out of the TV. But little do they know that Sadeko is a vengeful ghost who will kill them in a week. Oh, is this the backstory to the girl from the ring? Okay. Oh, okay, I'm here for that. In order to help their new friend, these two sweet, innocent girls begin a journey to the end of the world to look for more victims, which is crossed out friends. 
Can their bond with Sadako help her find peace and finally break the curse? Or would this tale have a tragic ending? Uh, this is a yen press. This is a yen press book uh, publication. It is for older teens and I'm here for it. Like I think we're gonna get maybe a softer side of the girl from the ring, Sadako I guess is her name. Um, the artwork is a little different. Let's see, something that doesn't look like a spoiler. Okay, here we go. So like the artwork is a little different um, than styles that I'm used to, but I'm very excited about this. This is a, a interesting take. I don't know if I ever would have thought about doing a story about the girl from the rain. Uh, so I am excited to read this. So next we've got Mob Psycho uh, 100 Rain, Mob Psycho 100 Rain, the man with level 131 max spirit power. So Mob Psycho is one of those series that I need to get into because I've heard so many great things about and I just never started it. Um, and so it's on my like long list of like things I would like to start one day and just have it. But uh, maybe this will spark me to get the original so that I can read this one. So it says, from the creator of One Punch Man. At last, a book worthy of the world's greatest exorcist as Rain gets his own special volume of Mob Cycle 100. The original manga that inspired the anime from Crunchyroll and Funimation and the live action series from Netflix. Oh, I didn't know there was a live action series. Oh, that's cool. So it says, Arataka Rain... Reagan, Arataka Reagan, has never let his lack of superpowers stop him from running a ghost-busting business. And his new part-time office assistant is none other than Tome Karada, a girl obsessed with the occult, and the schoolmate of Reagan's protege, Shago Mob Kageyama. Yet, whereas Mob's incredible psychic strength resolved many of cases, many a case for Reagan, Tome is as powerless as her boss. Or so she may think at first. But if there's one thing a master scam artist knows how to teach, it's the power of confidence. So um, I'm excited about this right there. I do need, I do feel like I need to read Mob, uh, Mob Cycle 100 first. So it looks the same as some of the artwork that I've seen from there. So I do feel like I need to read Mob Cycle 100 first because like the only name that I recognize is uh, Shigo Mob. And so probably need to read the original series but excited to have this and that's a dark horse uh publication and so the last manga that we've got is mariko chan and so i've seen this one around and i've heard good things about this one so i'm very excited to read this it's another yen press and yen press has really got some great series out and so i've been really um excited about a lot of their new releases because Yen Press has been on it and they have been publishing the things I want to read. So it says a normal a normal girl was living a normal life until she wasn't. One day she could see everything. What's a girl to do when hideous monsters appear out of no matter appear no matter which way she turns? On top of that, nobody else can see them. Obviously there's only one thing that makes sense. Ignore them. Kind of hard to put theory into practice, though, when the ghost knows she's watching. So I'm excited about this. I feel sorry for her already. Look at her little tears. She's so sad. So I'm excited to read this. Um, it does look like it's going to be, you know, one of those ones where, like, you know, she can see the ghost, but nobody else can see the ghost. And so she's like trying to talk to her friends and the ghost is here and she's like trying to talk to her friends so i am excited to see if this is a different take on that because i feel like there's a lot of movies and shows and tropes especially in like japanese dramas and korean dramas that kind of follow along the same trope so i'm interested to see if this manga does something different than other series have done before so that was my Manga Spice Cafe unboxing. I am so excited to continue the subscription and uh, unbox more in the future. I feel like I always get such a wide variety of things from the box. Um, some things that I ne not necessarily would have looked into that now have made me interested. Um, and especially since you get the first volume, you don't have to worry about like, you know, if you don't like it, you don't have to keep going and you're not really out much of anything. So I really enjoy that it gives me a chance to experience manga that I may not have picked up on my own. 
So in the comments, let me know what you are oh. currently reading. So what's a series that you have picked up recently that you are enjoying or that you're hating that you had to put down? If you DNF'd it, let me know because I'm trying to work on my DNFing this year. So let me know what you're currently reading, what you've picked up. I am interested and you know I'm always looking for recommendations. So make sure that you like, subscribe, hit the bell, all the standard YouTube things, and we will see you all next time. Bye.